Yo, it's Kyle here with another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video and there is a bit of debate on who is the best romance option in the game, with a lot of people choosing Ranvi. But in this video I'm going to explain why Petra is by far the better option. And it's not just because my favourite Fire Emblem character is called Petra. Ranvi of course is one of the main characters in the game being Sigurd's wife and is also the chief advisor for the settlement in England. While Petra has a smaller role in the settlement and runs a hunting business with her brother Wallace. Now my first impressions of Ranvi were decent to be fair but I noticed she wasn't overly excited to see Sigurd back. You're not happy to see your husband return? Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Ah, we should all be so lucky. <laughs> yes, I do understand that her marriage with Sigurd was arranged for peace purposes between clans and he had been gone for a couple of years, but it kind of felt that the romance option was being too easily set up early on. Don't get me wrong, she seemed like a lovely person with the best interests of the clan at heart, but with the visions of the betrayal hanging over the game's narrative, I was straight away distancing myself from her. Emotionally, that is not in the game because there are so many bloody alliances I had to see her all the time. Ranvi's role was basically telling me where to form alliances while well, she did bugger all. But then the mission came along where you spend the day with Ranvi, and yes, I guess it was a bit of fun partaking in the drinking games and whatnot, but the trouble is, when climbing those ruins, I knew that moment was coming, whereas Evil never really expected it nor saw Ranvi as a love interest, so it didn't feel natural to me as a player to romance with her. So I had to turn her down and stay loyal to Sigurd, of course I did. Now I compare this to Petra who you meet early on and slowly get to know starting with banishing some wolves nearby the settlement. She had a nice soothing voice and seemed like a genuine and kind woman straight away. I mean anyone who wants to banish wolves for the safety of the settlement is in my good book straight away. And at first I saw her as an ally, a friend, and someone who cares for others. So initially she didn't feel like a romance option. But then the funny mushroom quest came along which was the game changer. This quest was so funny and reminded me of the quiet time mission in Red Dead 2 where you get drunk with Lenny. But this was with mushrooms and although I couldn't find Petra in this mission for a while, I felt myself getting closer to her. There seemed to be a connection forming while searching for her height on mushrooms. And when I eventually found her time warping or speed jumping or whatever that was, I couldn't help but laugh out loud. It was so nice to share a funny moment with her. She even encourages Eivor to do the same, I mean that feeling of jumping high in the sky was crazy and totally unexpected. Then finally when the mission ends and the mushrooms wear off there is a little moment with Petra that is really nice and comforting. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again. Without the mushrooms. We could. But I'll have to ask the rabbits for permission. You can tell Petra likes Eivor, but at this point she doesn't express her feelings. She just simply says that she'd like to do this again and spend more time with Eivor. I like that, and by the end of that mission I saw her as a romance option naturally, unlike with Ranvi. And I feel like the game really tries to push you towards romancing with Ranvi, multiple times in fact, even after the settlement wedding. Now I do get that her and Sigurd were no longer together at that point and there would be in turn no betrayal, but still, she is Sigurd's former wife. I just didn't really feel the urge to see what happened next with Ranvi as I only really saw her as a good friend and ally. Now the next mission with Petra is only a short one getting some archery practice but it was another opportunity to get to know her more and joke around a bit. And I never really had that with Ranvi. And soon after there was a dialogue option with her where she confesses her love to Eivor. I must admit that's one of my favourite moments in the game. So I said I felt the same way and off we went to you know what I guess the rest is history. It really caps off a nice arc with what I thought was just a minor side character at the start. And overall Petra is even my favourite side character in the whole game. I couldn't love her enough. But hey all the romances are optional and totally up to the player's personal preference. I'm not having a go at anyone who picked Ranvi. I just think Petra is head and shoulders above Ranvi. That is all. Well that is a wrap guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, let me know what you think, like, subscribe and see you soon. Evo, come on, I'm up here. Petra, how are you doing this? 
There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking.